Tonight, the fate of the Dodger Stadium gondola is up in the air as LA Metro considers whether to green light the controversial project. A committee took up the $500 million proposal today and could soon decide its fate. Old KCAL News reporter Amanda Starantino has both sides of the debate. It's not like this gondola is going to a hospital or grocery store or school. It was a divided room with about 200 people at LA Metro's headquarters to discuss a long awaited Metro project, a gondola transit system bringing people to Dodger Stadium. The current proposed project has the gondola picking up riders starting right here at Union Station, transporting thousands of people a mile and a half in the air, crossing over Chinatown. And within just minutes, baseball fans can skip all the traffic lines heading into Dodger Stadium and land right inside a parking lot within the gates. The route would be above Alameda Street with a stop in Chinatown and at Los Angeles State Historic Park, ending at the Dodger Stadium. Also connecting people to Elysian Park and surrounding areas, the entire ride takes about seven minutes. For low-income people, low-income family that we live in the, in, in the Northeast, and that's a great project. Supporters say the gondolas will improve mobility and accessibility. If I were to go to a game, I would get on a train in Orange County and, and get off at Union Station and uh, take the gondola up to the Dodger Stadium. So, it, you know, I'm just all for it. We have less traffic coming through the neighborhood. Uh, they will connect the state park to Cathedral High School. The project promises to ease congestion and lower pollution. Although it is privately funded, opponents worry about the $500 million price tag eventually falling on taxpayers. It's still unclear who's going to pay for it, who's going to maintain it. There is also concern for long-term impacts on Chinatown. So it's just shifting the uh, parking, the traffic situation to Chinatown. Chinatown is our home, and we don't want to have these columns uh, 200. Uh, fit high in the, in the air, uh, destroy the beauty of Chinatown. Operational noise and privacy concerns were also voiced. The gondolas would operate year round, and if everything goes as planned, they will be running by 2028. There are still plenty of hoops for the project to move forward. Next, this committee will decide within the next week if its environmental impact report will go in front of the full Metro board. In downtown LA, Amanda Starantino, KCAL News.